Howdy folks, Jamboreeki here, and welcome to a Halloween special episode of Jamboreeki Orange, the show where I let my patrons decide what I review. This month, the options were The Halloween Tree, Frank and Weenie, Wallace and Gromit in the Curse of the Were-Rabbit, Monster House, and Mickey's House of Villains. They chose Mickey's House of Villains. House of Mouse was a TV series about Mickey and his friends hosting classic Disney cartoons in a swanky Toontown building, and the guests included various Disney characters. In this feature film spin-off, Mickey's House of Villains, the Disney villains take over Mickey's house in celebration of Halloween. Flip me sideways, this is a really bad and lame movie. What could have been an awesome villains vs heroes Disney crossover is really just a long episode of House of Mouse. House of Mouse's variety show formula was nicely suited for television, but simply extending it to a 70 minute running time and marketing it as a movie doesn't automatically make it a cinematic experience. Heck, I've tried it before with my show, and while I enjoyed making that project, in hindsight, I don't think it worked, and will admit that it's not the most practical way of making a movie. Now, don't get me wrong, the Halloween-themed cartoons that get shown at the House of Mouse are pretty good. Many of them are hidden gems or forgotten classics that deserve attention. But this is still a movie, one that's trying to tell a story. Imagine if Toy Story 3 was constantly interrupted by old Pixar shorts every five minutes. It'd get annoying, right? Well, that's the kind of movie experience that Mickey's House of Villains creates. I can't appreciate or pay attention to these cartoons when the movie is also asking me to be invested in a story that's happening at the exact same time. This is the inherent problem of turning a clip show into a feature film narrative. Most of the movie plays out like this. The villains talk about taking over the house, Donald tries to scare someone but fails, Mickey introduces a Halloween-themed cartoon, and then we cut to a random audience member pulling off a quick gag or enthusiastically clapping. Rinse and repeat, and this goes on for 45 minutes until the villains finally take over the house. What do the villains do once they have power over the building? Show more Halloween-themed cartoons! I'm not even kidding! What was the point of the villains taking over Mickey's club if they're not going to do anything different with it? These are some of the most evil, diabolical, and corrupt villains that Disney has to offer. Where's the dark imagination behind their motives? They could have turned Mickey's club into a torture chamber for the heroes, the hideout for a giant laser cannon to threaten Toontown with, or the sleazy lair for them to plan crimes in. But no, they just sit around watching cartoons about trick-or-treating. Sure, the villains get a fun musical number called It's Our House Now, which they totally sell, as Disney villain songs are usually really entertaining. But this quick little song can't compensate for how uncreative the bad guys are being. Yeah, okay, it's your house now, but are you going to do anything interesting with it? No? Then you don't earn that musical number, I'm afraid. But the biggest issue I have with this film is also a problem I've always had with House of Mouse in general. The animation is really crude and cheap. It's so bad, even for television standards. Everything looks so stiff. This causes immense problems for two reasons. Jokes fall flat because characters can barely pull expressions or look as fluid as they usually do, and the poor quality of the animation is extra noticeable when the classic cartoons being shown in the club are remarkably expressive and polished in comparison. The gimmick of bringing all these Disney heroes and villains together in one place isn't fun or awesome when the animation is below the standard of the films they originate from. The film could have compensated for its cheapness and lack of cinematic flair by at least showing a face-off between the Disney heroes and villains, but the movie can't even pull that off. We could have had an awesome movie about the Disney heroes and villains brawling it out against each other in the House of Mouse, but nope. As soon as the villains take charge of the house, all the heroes are simply kicked out, including the powerful demigod Hercules, who I swear could have just easily picked up every villain and chucked them out with his bare hands, while Mickey and his friends remain powerless against the foes who stole their house. 
This is clearly so the film can postpone any kind of story progression and show more Halloween cartoon clips to pad out the 17 minute running time. Once the villains are in charge, nothing really happens until Mickey pulls Yancy the Sorcerer's hat out of nowhere for sudden plot convenience and fights Jafar in a magic duel. Which may sound cool, but it's lame and boring to watch because the other villains have nothing to do. Yancy's hat is attacked, so Aladdin randomly appears at the back door at the last minute to provide the deus ex machina of the genie's lamp, and that is what defeats Jafar. What could have been an exciting and tense finale is just a series of forced conveniences and wasted opportunities. To conclude, while Mickey's House of Villains does its best to keep with the Halloween spirit and showcase some great classic cartoons, I cannot call it a good movie whatsoever. When it comes down to it, it's just a very long episode of House of Mouse that puts showing as many clips as possible before telling a compelling and competent story. The idea of recognisable Disney heroes and villains crossing over in one movie sounds awesome on paper, but this film completely screws it up in execution. Unless you really want to see an extra long episode of House of Mouse with a Halloween theme, I cannot recommend this film to you, because it fails on so many levels as an actual movie. I've been Jamboreeki and I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then feel free to subscribe to my channel because I make a lot of videos like this one. So, what am I going to be reviewing for the next episode of Jamboreeki Orange? Well, that's entirely up to my patrons. And the choices for next month include My Little Pony the Movie from 1986, Justice League War, The Brave Little Toaster, Surf's Up, Blade Runner, The Final Cut, and Pokemon Free, Spell of the Unknown. How cool do the choices for that poll sound? Now, like I said, only patrons can take part in this poll. What is a patron? Don't worry, I'll explain. This is my Patreon. It's a site for my fans to make monthly donations to me. Those who donate are called patrons. The money I receive goes towards funding my videos and serves as a supportive income for me. Patrons can donate as much as they want each month and stop donating any time. All donations are greatly appreciated, and in return for their patronage, patrons are given exciting rewards, depending on how much they donate, including their names credited in my main show, access to exclusive videos, and the chance to decide a review on my channel. I'm very excited to find out which film my patrons want me to review in the next episode of this show. Cheerio, folks. Thank you.